Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the French Campaign, where uh, that was going fine, apart from my high unrest. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe just going and doing some fights and uh, getting a couple of victories. And I spotted one over here that I thought looked pretty promising. The Signet, uh, a Triumph class, should be able to blow up all of these cruisers and uh, these transports. See if we can't reduce our unrest a little bit. Um, the other thing it might be is because I've got that armed com uh, military conflict mission going. Uh, which is maybe causing problems. I'm not entirely sure. As long as it doesn't get up there. <laughs> it's, it's already pretty high. But um, yeah. I will keep an eye on it. Right. Uh, how fast are you two? Uh, you're pretty much the same speed. You can follow. Uh, you can screen. Uh, everyone form up on the signet. Or the signet. Ship has seen quite a lot of action. Oh, oh, big hit on, I think, a light cruiser. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm in uh, inches mode. I should be in uh, French mode. Okay. Calling a uh, Shipyard Champions video. Yeah, those 400s, they hurt. They really hurt. Oh, speaking of really hurting. Poor old Agile takes a massive smack from a 254 millimeter weapon, presumably one of the heavy cruisers. Get her to fall back. Or she can just take another hit. You know, whatever floats about. <laughs> Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Damn. It's unnecessary. Yeah, they're taking out the light ships first. Little bastards. Mm -hmm. Wow, I was like, oh, I wonder how fast the... Uh, how close we are to getting some IDs. Not close is the answer. Got a double blocked. Maybe try an AP shell. Hmm? Just thought. Uh, blocked? Really? Strange. Fine. Auto. Oh, Jesus. Shen. Pop smoke and withdraw. Pop, pop smoke and your torpedoes. Again, just. You know, it's fucking with me today. <laughs> Sometimes I do wonder. Oh, torpedo hits! Fuck you, buddy. Oh, 
that one next. Uh, I think that's a light cruiser in the back. That's taken a fair few hits. Oh no, that's a destroyer. You don't want to push a destroyer into a light cruiser, that's not going to go well. Stop it! Cycling. Are they? I'm not actually sure if they are. There we go, finally a solid hit. The uh, Grisha. No, the Grisha should just get out, I think. Heavy cruisers are tough. It's your torpedo range there. Cool. There we go. That's more what I was looking for. Still not actually sunk the bugger though. And then we miss. Fucking hell. There you go. Right. Fecking finally. That one. Chateau Renault taking a little bit of damage as well. It's another heavy cruiser. Yeah. Looks like it. Ten kilometers tops. Should be able to kinda edge edge around them. Flooding hit, nice. Just turn down how long it takes to ID ships. Looks like it's taking a very long time. Okay, finally sunk that one. Excuse 
Excuse me. Uh, okay, right. Uh, let's get back into it, because that was a couple of seconds for you and like half an hour for me. Um, do, 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 do. Miss. Uh, I'm in your torpedo range. Only just, though. Oh, you switched targets, that's what you missed. Really wish they wouldn't do that. Hello. That was a torpedo launch from the Adomarsh. That's a light cruiser. Thought it would be a heavy. Bang, there we go. Should put that one down. Oh, torpedoes from my own cruiser. <laughs> nice. Well done to the Chateau Renault. Okay, transports are over there, aren't they? Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Chateau Renault, can you go deal with the transports, please? Signet. Or Signet. You are going to go deal with those still unidentified cruisers, but I'm assuming they are, in fact, heavies. Bum, 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 bum. Carriers, which I think I've fought before, and Argonauts. Okie dokie. Chateau Renault from the transports. Uh, reasonably far. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, some hits there. like me playing Warhammer. Uh, 21%. That's, you know, about a fifth. So, you know, let's call it rolling a five on a, on a D6. <laughs> Eight times and hitting no times. <laughs> it's totally what I would do. It's just like all the twos and threes. Uh, we've gone into the Shadow Realm. Blocked. Oh, fire HG at them. What 
also blocked. See, they're heading away from me, so I can't get into uh, killing range where I have a really high heart, high chance to hit and pin. Playing keep away with them is kind of annoying. But I think the Chateau Renault has reached the convoy. Yep, she has. She's a little bit low on main gun ammo. But uh, she does have the 80 mils. Unable to really close on them. Those cruisers are going to get away. Annoyingly. Still, we have sunk a fair few British ships here. sunk the convoy. It's a pretty big convoy as well. You can uh, just withdraw and Signa probably going to run out of shells before she's able to get a kill here. Although she has knocked down Imperius. Getting a main belt then just as I uh, cut back to it. Little bit of flooding. Holy shit! <laughs> That'll do it. That's why I was getting frustrated because I know that the Signa can absolutely delete these ships if she can get a solid hit. And yeah, if they just head away from you, trying to keep me from closing in to murdering range, which is absolutely what they should do. Uh, although the army wants about to run out of ammunition here. Um, yeah. Because they have the deck armor to hold up at this range. Uh, sorry, that's my ship. Yeah, they have the deck armor, because pen on these on the decks is, is not great. So that's when you're seeing those blocks. I'm hitting the deck armor and it, the shell's just skipping off. No, down to AG only now. I want to do as much damage to the Argonaut as I can. Because it will force it into dock at least. And that will cost the British money. Which is very useful. But I think, yeah, we are. What the fuck just happened? We are. We are pretty much out of out of ammunition. So I will authorize a withdrawal, and uh, I will see you guys on the post-battle results screen. 
Oh, and I, I was like, oh, wait a minute, I see that shell. <laughs> I know how this works. <laughs> Getting a solid hit right at the end. Hilarious. Maybe we can fake them out. Yeah, I'm retreating, game. I'm withdrawing. You've got this. You, you, uh, we're all done here. Haha. <laughs> no! I'm gonna come back and fire my last 40 shells at you. Might only be HG shells, but damn it. <laughs> Took out your tort launcher. Did a bunch of damage. No, now they're running again, see? Like, oh, okay, fine. <gasps> every time, every time I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll pull back. <laughs> and then I get the hit. Hilarious. I still don't think I have enough shells to finish the job. I need to go in for a ram or something stupid. Oh, yes. Another big hit, though. A lot of flooding on the Argonaut. Destroy the main gun. It's not enough to put it down, but it is enough to make her repairs more expensive and lengthy. Got to be out of ammunition now. Yep. Can't kill her with 50mm. <laughs> and the Chateau Renault is too far away. This time, I really will see you on the post-battle results screen. There we go. Nice little, uh, nice little victory there. Okay, we lost the uh, uh, Agile, but uh, that's that's a nice, nice uh, set of transport sig. Let's see if that actually made any difference to my unrest. It did. Look at that. Dropped by about ten points. Um, are there any other battles that look? Particularly favorite. Mm. <laughs> oh, I've got to do this one. Sufferer, an indomptable class in combat. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> there was a comment saying they would never get into battle. Ah, you forget that I upgraded their range significantly. And, yeah, she's not overly fast. 23 knots, but she's still there. <laughs> Look at that compact little weird little thing. Where are you? Chew your knees off. We also have the <laughs> Fulminan. Oh, my goodness. Two slow ships. And we have the Harpoon. Who is quite expensive, being a fairly modern destroyer. I'm actually going to have her head away. Because I... I can use her... To... Well, basically to... Um, cause some damage later on. But I know that the AI will... Absolutely try to take out the destroyer if it can so for uh, firing away Such a silly ship. Uh, okay, Fulminant is also now in range. I have her turn till, till she can fire properly. Again, just popping my ships on save. There's no need to uh, waste ammunition. 
And Harpoon, yeah. Not disappearing from the battle, but not, you know, going crazy. Your move, British cruiser. Hits. Superb. <laughs> Super. Ah, <laughs> uh, Super has a firing computer issue. Ah, there we go. Fixed. Now, oh, broken. Fixed. Properly fixed. Nope, broken again. Fire and control issue. Fire control issues. Sadly, very frequent. Yeah, they got close and then they're like, mm, maybe not. That's a it's a battleship. <laughs> it's pretty sure it's smaller than most of the heavy cruisers left in the game. Really what I'm looking for is for them to get a flooding hit or something. Well, they might be trying to go for my destroyer. Give him a torpedo. Yeah, you can. I'll give him something to worry about. If they detected it off, they just turned away anyway. It's fine. Let's give you a little present. A little something to worry about. Uh, I'm going to have Fulminant go in. Harpoon still staying out of the fight. That's good. Chukran nearly used up all of her HE. Has done some good damage, though. Set a few fires, damaged a few bit, bits and bobs on the upper works. Oh, hit my secondary gun, would you? Road. Mm. Yeah, they're moving away again. doing still moving in. They are going after the DD. Or are they not? It's hard to tell sometimes. Right, switch up to the AP ammo. See how this does. Hey, hey fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Boom. Hit you right in the bridge. And there's some flooding going on. One of the turrets. Oh, yes. Very good. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that. Fire control out. And. Sun. Sovereign, proving that the Indomptables are still useful warships. <laughs> oh my goodness. So these things were built for the start of the campaign. So they probably laid down in like 1888 or something. <laughs> 1946 takes out a cruiser. Oh, you've got to love it. <laughs> Superb. Alright, doing the battles is definitely lowering the unrest. Not a lot, but it, it, it's helping. So, uh, 
Apologies, we're going to be doing a lot of battles. Uh, the Fasson uh, has found Theseus the Powerful and some destroyers. There is also, coincidentally, a transport to deal with. But uh, that is not the point. The point is to try and take out some more of the Royal Navy. Because the Falson absolutely can eliminate some of those heavy cruisers. We also have two light cruisers. Yeah. Um, who can follow? There we go. We don't have torpedoes. Save your ammunition, because engagements tend to be quite long range at the moment. And uh, I'd rather keep keep the ship's uh, ammunition. Now, the first one is exactly designed to deal with this sort of encounter. 320mm guns, 155 secondaries, plus a couple of pop guns. Where are those heavy cruisers going? That way. Cool. A chance to eliminate some of these pesky heavy cruisers. I imagine they're going to come in with the destroyers first. That's usually how the AI operates. Got the Jurien. Well, this is not the Jurien, is it? Oh, it is the Jurien. Lovely. And then the Nayad. A bit of an old ship, but still uh, still capable. Even if it is to just kind of like throw out a little bit of uh, torpedo defense. does not have a particularly experienced crew. Could be a slight issue. Maybe not. That destroyer getting more or less deleted. One destroyer down. Oh, yes, there we go. Of course, once you start taking damage to destroy it, especially flooding damage, it's usually the end of you. Finish the job, though, guys. It's important to actually make sure that ships are sunk. <laughs> Thank you. Because otherwise, they just launch torpedoes at you after you think you've sunk them. It's very irritating. Right. Start to work on these cruisers. Flooding, slow them up. They're turning away now. Destroyed torpedo. Pretty high 
high hit chance here. And somehow miss everything. <laughs> uh. Oh, we're hitting the deck. It's, uh, it's crashing into the deck plate. Not hitting the belt, and when it does hit the belt, it goes through. Very nice. I'm going to assume that there's a torpedo coming my way at this point. Even if there isn't, I suspect that there is. AI loves firing torps right after it takes a hit. Try and throw them off a little bit. Still don't have them ID'd. Nice. Bit of flooding. Oh, they're going to hit back. It's kind of rude. And another one. Extra rude. Oh. It's a little bit more sizable. Right, popular, popular boy today, right. Okay, we sunk one, good. Uh, the other cruiser is pretty badly knocked about. You uh, send some torpedoes into them. Unnecessary. Cool. I will hunt down that transport, wherever it's gotten to, this way, and I will see you on the post-battle results screen. There we go. Um, nice. Just a nice little pickup. Back to the map. Alright, it's the following month. Our unrest is going down. This is good. Uh... And uh, the Japanese are coming at us with a couple of destroyers. We shall uh, we shall respond because uh, we need to show progress in the war against Japan as well. We can't just sit here uh, doing nothing. Um, I don't even know if you are all the same type, but let's assume that you are. You can follow. Save your torps. Save your torps. They uh, should form up. Uh, I have been making changes to the formation system. Well, I say changes. I've been editing the distance that ships want to go at. And putting it at 500 does seem to have helped a fair bit. Yeah, see, they overran there. And then this one goes out on a wide trip. Uh, yeah, they have actually settled down. That's good, because before they just weren't settling at all. Uh, they still kind of struggle with a the turn. There's a bit of wobbling. This one's now going to do a big, wide, spinny thing, is it? Oh, accelerating up. No, you see it there. Look. Oh, rubber banding. What? Whee! <laughs> So yeah, if you're seeing this, I am aware. I'm trying, but if I make it any longer, it's going to be silly. Where are these destroyers? No sign of them. Ghost battle. Lovely. Well, you get a bit of... Uh... <laughs> Brother Mamero talks about modding. Alright, we have taken the Seychelles. Um, 
I don't really have the time to go and attack Columbia. Well, I have the time. I just don't, I can't be bothered. I've got, I've got more important things to do, damn it. Uh, I'm going to send uh, the Mediterranean fleet down to Mauritius. And our naval invasion of the Antilles has indeed begun. And is at 100%. Lovely. Port strike. <gasps> Sufferan. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's an instant click. Yes. Because she's not facing an enemy battleship. She's just facing enemy cruisers. <laughs> That's so dumb. These ships. St still operating. It's hilarious. I love it. Um... Right, we've got a couple of cruisers. We have a couple of... Um, we've got the Leon Gambetta here. She's uh, a little bit spicy. Save, save. Avoid change off. Avoid change off. Right. What? Right. The Gambetta. I want the light cruisers to follow the Gambetta, please. And I would like the destroyers to follow the cruisers. Ah, right, okay. Get a day 100 million of wishing that we had a pre battle, <laughs> a pre battle screen. Because. A pre-battle deployment option. Yeah, if we've got the Gambetta here, she can do quite a lot of damage with those 280 millimeter guns. There's the enemy. While the Sufferan moves in with the slower ships. I want to keep a little bit of distance with the light ships. AI loves trying to uh, sink the light ships first, which I totally understand. I do that as well. See how they uh, respond. Really check in on the British, shouldn't I? It's been a while since I did that. Still working our way up. Firing computer reset. Miss. Reset again. Yeah, there is a destroyer coming in. Can you deal with her, please. It's not. It's a light cruiser. Being very aggressive. <laughs> Taking a big old hit as well. Yeah, this is dumb. Uh, she did uh, trigger a torpedo launch, I guess. But still, that comes across as very silly. Throwing the ship away. I think all my ships are on a reload now, though. On the torps. Oh, hello. 
torpedoes going out. At who? The destroyers? Maybe. Sufferin <laughs> It's like, yeah, nobody expects the Sufferin. Fire! <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, they ran into their own torps. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! That is painful. And the torpedo did miss. That's good. And the ship goes down. There's more. I didn't see. Yes. Bugger. Right. Mulhouse. You are ordered to withdraw. Uh, Harpoon's actually okay. Fuck off! <laughs> Honestly, the game is really trying its best to piss me off today. With the RNG. Torpedo, uh, torpedo dip. ammo dip. Very nice. How's Sifferin doing? Eh, she's actually providing some long range fire support. Very nice. A bit more flooding. That's another heavy cruise down. That's unfortunate. Flooding and done. Good. Very good. Sufferin didn't actually get to shine that much in that battle. Um, did she do anything at all? Yeah, she did. Look at that. 8.3k in damage. Uh, yes, yeah, that destroyer must have been the one that torpedoed their own ship. <laughs> oh, dear me. Yeah, probably this damage here. Torpedoed another destroyer. Whoops. <laughs> okay, dokie. Thought I'd take a quick look at the politics screen. Um, Britain's at minus 89 with the Austro-Hungarians, our uh, unrest is going down nicely now. Um, they have... Oh, they're actually starting to run out of ships. 
Four battleships, seven battle cruisers, seven heavy cruisers, six lights, six destroyers. We're just slowly eating away at what they're able to uh, to bring to bring to bear, basically. Right, what other battles have we got? Um, that's probably going to be a ghost battle, but maybe not. Hmm. No, these things have got such big guns that really I, I need a 400 mil armed ship to, to take that on. All right. Well, I guess I'll end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.